honestly, y'all, I was even planning on making a video today. I wasn't planning on making a video till later, talking about AEW. But honestly, I've had enough. I've had enough. This video really couldn't wait. All right. And you guys can tell by the title, this is going to be a rant. This is going to be a rant. And, man, oh, man, I don't know if this video is even going to get monetized because who knows what I'm going to say in this video. But NBA 2K20 and WWE 2K20 are two of the worst, worst video sports video games that I've ever played in my life. I've been gaming for two decades. 20 years I've been playing video games. And this, these two games, both made by 2K, ironically, these are two of the worst sports video games I've ever played in my life. I, 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 these two games are absolutely garbage. Absolutely garbage. And it is such a disappointment because both these games were so hyped. So hyped. And they're, they're legit to the point where I just don't want to play them anymore. I really don't, man. And then now the thing is, we have to wait a year just for the next batch of games. I'm going to start off with WWE just because it's it just came out a couple days ago and it's on everybody's mind. If you go on social media, you'll see the hashtag that's been trending since Tuesday. Hashtag fix WWE 2K20. The game cannot be fixed, guys. The game cannot be fixed. This game is so bad. My main problem with NBA 2K20 is 2K20 has bugs, but mainly NBA 2K20 is just a re it's just a rehash of NBA 2K19. WWE 2K20 is such a downgrade. Such a downgrade from WWE 2K19 that is ridiculous. You're better off going playing another year of WWE 2K19 if you enjoy that game and then just downloading updated um characters and updated rosters from community creations. That's how bad WWE 2K20 is. This game is full of bugs. The game is full of glitches. All right, the graphics at some points are down, down bad, detestable. All right, they like sometimes at points. And let's look at the my career. Look at the 2 k 20s my career. Yes, the story is better than 2K19. All right, um, but there's a lot of cringy. You know, there's a lot of cringiness in the lines of dialogue. There's a lot of cringy moments. All right, but I do like how they added a male and female my player this year. I do appreciate that. But there's a lot of cringy moments with the my players this year. It, it, it's it's hilarious how cringy. You know, the game can get at times. Plus, the graphics for some of the cutscenes are so bad, it makes WWE 2K15. Remember how bad WWE 2K15 was? It makes WWE 2K15 look better than WWE 2K20 with the graphics at points. Not even talking about the gameplay itself, alright? They decided to change the controls. They decided to change the controls for what reason? Just so they could put on the promo on the back of the game to say, oh, new control system that make the game easier to play. No, the new controls have made the game harder, more difficult to play. All right? Like, legit, I'm, like, I'm still making mistakes where I'm going for reversals on my opponent and I'm accidentally pressing RT because that's the way it's been for years. And they decided to, to change the budget to Y. All right? Uh, some of just the easiest stuff in this game, man, they messed up, all right? Some of the models are downright disgusting. The Rock doesn't look like The Rock, all right? Some of these characters look like complete, absolute plastic. Plastic, all right? If you look at some of the player, you know, the characters they made in the my career, some of the high school players, all right, high school characters, they look legit like mannequins, the ones you will see outside of your local furniture store. It's that bad with these models. It is that bad. Universe mode has been the same for 10 years now. Universe mode probably has the most potential out of any mode in the game. All right? But the thing is, they do the same thing each and every single year. And then they go say, oh, yeah, add a bunch of new cutscenes to make universe mode more unique and more creative. The, the new cutscenes they added suck. They legit suck. The new cutscenes is legit... Either if you're if you have a babyface versus babyface, you know they're interacting. Either they're friends or not friends. 
after the match, they either handshake or, you know, the loser pushes their opponent down or slaps him in the face. It's legit retarded. And they have five different versions of basically the same interaction. Right? These cutscenes are legit garbage. Garbage, man. Universe Mode needs a completely new rebuild. Alright? Completely new rebuild. And they need to add GM mode. They need to add GM mode. Universe mode has so much potential, but it is so unplayable, it's ridiculous. They don't even have create a championship in the game. They took out modes from last year's game for no reason. For no reason. Alright? So, like, create a championship mode? Are you serious? Oh, and they said we're going to add it in a patch at a, at a later date. People won't even be playing the game at a later date. That's how bad the game actually is. It's absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous how bad this game is. Showcase mode. I love showcase mode. All right? Love it. And I love how this year they're telling the story of the four horsewomen. The thing that sucks is this game is so bad. It's full of so many glitches. All right? And the CPU is so bad to play against that it actually hurts showcase mode. They, I don't know how lazy 2K you get. They got to the point where they didn't even add unique entrances for some of the, the special matches in showcase mode. Like, you're telling me, oh, you want to tell you want me to play through Sasha Biggs versus Sean at Hell to Cell 2017. You couldn't add the um Sasha's entrance when she came out um uh, in the limo and she was staring on top of the car holding the Raw Women's Championship. You couldn't add that entrance? Really? But you can give Nia Jax, the, one of the worst female students of all time, a unique championship entrance. Are you kidding me right now? Really? Really? All right? And now, that, don't get me started on the rating system. Sasha Banks being an 80 overall and Becky Lynch and Becky Lynch being a 90 overall. Don't get me started on that. Tell me how. How is Sasha Banks the same overall rating as Selena Vega and Carmella? Somebody explain that to me. Did you not see Hell in a Cell with Sasha and Becky? Did you not see Classic Champions? But yet Sasha is an 80 and Alexa Bliss is an 87. Wait, wait, what kind of bull crap is that? What kind of nonsense is going through these people's heads? I really don't understand it. I don't. Alright? WWE 2K20 is legit garbage. You can't even get into online matches. Right? They talk about how they added um, multiplayer lobbies. The lobby system is garbage. It takes forever to, for you to actually find a match. All right? And most of the time, if you have good internet, it puts you up against a guy with a one-bar connection so bad that the match can't even get started. WWE 2K20 is so garbage. 2K Originals, I like 2K Originals, but I can't stand the text-based stuff. All right? If you can add, if you can have all these superstars come in to do lines, to do cutscenes for my career, why can't you, you, you add voice, um, voiceovers for 2K Originals? Text-based stuff is legit garbage and it's not enjoyable. It really isn't, man. I don't know. And I know all these apologies on social media want to say, Yukes, Yukes, man. Uh, they left 2K. Give them a pass. I'm not going to give them a pass. I'm not. All right? If you knew Yukes was leaving. And Yukes, Yukes is actually, they're actually developing their own game. They're developing their own game right now. All right? So a game that will hopefully get WWE 2K to pull their heads out of their asses and actually work on the game. All right, and I'm excited for what Yux is making, even though we have no idea when that game will be coming out. All right, legit, because we heard WWE 2K, the people there had to rewrite the entire code for WWE 2K. All right, fine. If you need to rewrite the code, you have to be that selfish that you have to release a game. You did not have to release a game. You really didn't. Do what NBA Live is doing. Do what somebody like Yux is doing. Yux is taking their time. Developing their game because they want their game to actually be playable. They want people to actually enjoy their game. All right, you you know we understand. Yux was the mainly the get people behind Two K. All right, the Two K games all the way back into THQ's games with the SmackDown versus Live. All right, and you guys rushed to rewrite the code just to get a game out that wasn't ready, just because you guys are so greedy that you wanted to make money off the game. That's how greedy Two K is. All right, and then they're advertising how great WWE 2K20 is. This game is garbage. This game is garbage. All right, other than you know, you know the micro story, um, the showcase mode, the 2K originals is okay. Everything else with this game is legit garbage. This game is such a downgrade from WWE 2K19. It is ridiculous. All right, so bad that look at Oscar Bianca Belair. Their hair is falling off their heads to the side. 
All right, and the glitches. Don't get me started on the gameplay glitches, man. It's ridiculous. A limb targeting is terrible. All right, limb targeting does not work at all. The grapple system is garbage. When I go to do like a running clothesline, half the time it puts me in the other direction. I can't even, I just put my opponent into the corner. I don't know how many times I'm in showcase mode and I get a, um, um, you know, one of the objectives tell me uh, I'm playing as Bailey against Sasha Banks and it tells me Iris whip Sasha Banks in the corner and do a running move. Every time I go for an Iris whip and I'm aimed right at the turnbuckle, right at one of the four corners and Iris, and Iris whips my opponent outside the ring. And I have to wait for them to get back into the ring just so I can try again. It's absolutely ridiculous. It makes me not even want to put showcase gameplay on my channel because legit, I spend 20 to 25 minutes on each match just trying to do the stupid objectives. When it should take me 5 to 10 minutes at most. That's how bad this game is. This game was not ready to be released. But 2K just had to be greedy. Just had to be greedy, man. I'm telling you guys right now. You know, I covered WWE 2K. I covered WWE for you guys. And I'm going to be honest. Do not buy this game. You are better off playing WWE 2K19 for another year. All right, you're better off waiting for Ukes, whatever their WWE game is going to be, or waiting to see if WWE or uh, Earth 2K makes improvements with WWE 2K21. I cannot sit here and tell you to buy WWE 2K20. This game is unplayable. The glitches, the bugs, you know, you see Saza Banks doing 619s around the entire ring over and over again. You, you know, you, you when you see like Becky Lynch rolling out of the ring, all right. You know, she doesn't even roll out the ring. She's just rolling on the ropes for 25,000 years. This game is so bad. It, 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 that's what happens. You you rush to rewrite the code for the game, all right? And you rush to rewrite the code for the game, and you get a bad game. You get one of the worst sports games that we've seen since WWE 2 k 15. Really, this game was not ready to, to be released. They should have spent more time on the game trying to fix the bugs. They shouldn't have changed the controls. They should at least give you the option if you wanted to go back to the controls of last year. All right? They should have just made you, forced you to go buy these new controls. These new controls are garbage. Garbage. This game is garbage in general. I'm telling you guys right now, save your money. Do not buy WWE 2K20. And, you know, I spent the last 10 minutes ranting on WWE 2K20. I haven't got the NBA 2K20. All right? 2K, man... NBA 2K20, in simplest terms, it's NBA 2K19 version 2. That's really what it is. This is basically NBA 2K19 with a lot more glitches, with a lot more bugs, all right, and with updated rosters. That's really what this game is at the end of the game. And it's so disappointing because I was so hyped for both these games this year, all right? NBA 2K19, I mean, NBA 2K20, man, it's basically the, the, a rehash. The neighborhood is still the same, all right? My career has a different story, all right? But in the micro story, I didn't even enjoy it that much this year. All right? I really didn't. Nothing really special happened in the story, all right? And then when you get into the neighborhood, the neighborhood is still the same, they made no choice changes to it. They just added a couple new events. That's really it. NBA 2K20 is legit NBA 2K19 version 2. They did not make... And they acted like, though, the new My Player Nation mode is that special. It's not. It's not. All right? It's basically NBA, NBA Today in my career mode. Whatever team you're on, your My Player's on. It's like, say my My Player's on the Clippers, right? You know, you just play their season. And you get, like, two times VC and two times rep and all that other stuff. All right, this game is garbage. NBA 2K20 and WWE 2K. NBA 2K20 is not as bad as WWE 2K20. My problem is NBA 2K20 is way too similar to 2K19 and has way too many glitches and bugs. All right, and it seems like with every patch they add, more bugs came in the game. I cannot wait to see how bad the glitches get with WWE 2K20. All right, when they start adding their patches, my goodness, WWE 2K20, NBA 2K20 are legit garbage. I'm telling you right now. If you haven't bought any of these games yet and you're waiting until Black Friday or you're just waiting for sales, I'm telling you right now, save your money. Save your money. Unless these games are like $5, $5, $10, you should not be buying them. They're not worth 60 bucks. I would much rather tell you guys to game fly the games, play them for a little bit, and then send them back. Send them back after a month or two instead of buying the game. 
these games are not worth your money. I don't care if 2K saw this and they chose never to want to use me for a community event or anything like that. I'm telling you the truth. I'm not going to be a meat shield like some of these other people in the community. People tell me that 2K20 is the best game ever. NBA 2K20 is the best 2K yet. Both these games are garbage. Both these games are garbage. And 2K, the company, really, really needs to sit back and look at the people making their games. Look at the problems. Listen. Listen to the community. Listen to, to the community and hear what they have to say. Instead of ignoring them, all right, and just going off and doing your own thing, sit, listen to the community, all right? Because since there's no competition for 2K right now, they think that they can just get away with releasing these bad games. All right, because NBA Live, they're not they they're not releasing a game this year. All right, they're 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 taking another year to work on NBA Live twenty one next year. All right, so two K thinks they could just get away with putting out this nonsense. Same thing with WWE. I'm telling you, man, if AEW releases a video game, if Ukes, whatever they're working on for their next um WWE game, you know, if those two companies, if they take their time. With those games, they're gonna blow WWE 2K out of the out of the water next year because this stuff is unacceptable. It is unacceptable. 2K has been in the business for years, years. All right, it is unacceptable for them to be sitting here putting out these bad games. All right, if they knew the game was not gonna be ready to release, they should have never released it. They should it should have been delayed. I would have much rather sit back and play NBA 2K19, WWE 2K19 for another year than play these games. All right, and NBA 2K20 isn't even that bad. The more, I'm way more mad about WWE 2K20 than NBA 2K20. All right, but still, these both these games are not good. They're not up to the standards which 2K should be putting out for them. They're both downgrades, especially WWE 2K19. Not worth 60 bucks at all. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just telling you guys the truth. That's what I do here on this channel. I do not BS you guys. These games are not worth it. Do not waste your money. Do not waste your money on these games all right and if you do if you want to go buy them that's your problem if you want to go deal with glitches and bugs and bad graphics for the next year fine you do that because you're part of the problem you're the one that's feeding WWE to um uh, WWE money right you're the one that's buying in-game currency buying in-game purchases giving um, more money putting more money in 2k's bank account making them feel like they have more excuses to put out this nonsense if you guys are real if you guys are listen listening to me and you haven't bought these games yet do not waste your money. Do not waste your money. Tell 2K. Make videos like the one I'm doing. To, um, add them on social media. Email, email their support staff. Don't let those stupid meet shields like Ronnie 2K and um L and all and LD 2K and the rest of them. Do not let them get away with what they're doing. All right, because these games are garbage. They're not meant to be released. They're 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 not. All right, and it makes me so mad that the 2K showcase with Sasha Banks this year, all right, was put in such a bad game. Such a bad game, man. I'm sorry, you guys. You know, I'm not here to bullcrap you guys. I'm going to tell you guys the truth. I'm going to tell you guys the truth. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought, man. If you guys agree with me, make sure to slap that like button, comment, subscribe. I'm just here being honest. I'm just here being honest. Thank you guys for everything. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day, guys. Peace.